This is the first time since the passing of Boas Katire that the patriarchal uncle of the Ohorongo totem had to reignite the sacred shrine. Hiameriro Viakondo is the divine priest who ignited the Okoruo from the Ohorongo patriarchal mm. lineage. This belief of ours is ancient. It came with our people when they journeyed from the Great Lakes and it was reigned by those Hippocrates. Our belief system is huge than all the other belief systems. This one that was given to the Ovaherero of Amanderu and Himba which God gave us, it was deliberately wrongly translated. When the Germans wanted to possess the land, they had to seek people who would tell them where our strength was possessed. Rituals are performed, including praying for newborns in the family, consecration of new brides, or declaring good fortune for new possessions, including vehicles. Viacondo noted that as per custom, there are forbidden acts, not permitted. For example, women cannot visit the sacred shrine during their menstrual period, nor can an uncircumcised person as he can fall ill. Oh, when the women are on their periodic table, they are not allowed to go and milk the heads. They don't drink the sour milk, and if they deliberately do it, they have to call the divine priest as they have done wrong. They will be brought to the sacred shrine for sanctification. Kokuakupi Katire has been designated as the new divine priest to the Katire patriarchal lineage at the age of 47. Mm. When you have the sacred shrine, you are like the head of state, so the responsibility is huge. It's not something to boast about, but you have to jealously guard it, to heal the sick, to clear good fortunes to those that acquire new vehicles, and clear a path for the sick person to find his or her breakthrough. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.